morning everyone good morning happy monday back to the week again oh and today is the day how's everyone today uh yeah just looking out there i haven't been out yet <laughs> um it looks a bit frosty but um it's kind of looking the sky is looking a bit a little bit red so i think it's going to be a nice day yay so how's everyone this morning are you um all set for today so today is the um, start of Sylvia's launch. Um, she's doing a five day, um, five day masterclass training um, starting today. So we both did some lives on her uh, Ladypreneurs page last night. And um, yeah, it's uh, starting kicking off today at 11 o'clock. And uh, da, 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 she's going live. And today she's talking about goal setting. So I did my live on her page last night and I was just encouraging people to um, that if you're if you don't have um, your type C goal, your fantasy goal that, um, you know, we can help you to um, to decide on that and, you know, kind of see what exactly you really want in life, where you're at and what you're um, kind of, you know, what you're doing on a daily basis and why you're not happy with the results you're getting. Because let's face it, I think anybody that's doing um the launch with Sylvia um this week is um in a place that they don't really want to be and want to um maybe um take some quantum leaps and jump forward in their lives and make some changes um and make some changes for the better so um yeah so it's a uh, looking forward to it it's starting at 11 and the replay will be there Oh, morning Marie, how are you? And um, the replay will be there um, for for the week anyway. And um, she has taken them down, um, I don't know, a couple of days after that, I think. So if you can at all, if you're if you're interested and it's something you, you really want to do, you know, make the decision, you're gonna watch it um, on the day it's on. And, um, and that way you can keep up and, you know, you're not going to fall back or, or um, you're not going to have to watch two in, in the one day or anything like that. So I think, um, you know, when you have to, if you have to watch two, it's two four to five minutes and you're not, you might not get time for that because, you know, time is limited for everyone. So, um, uh, yeah, so 11 today. And then, um, if you want me to tag you, let me know. I will tag some people, tag as many people as I can, especially the ones that have, you know, she has, um, people on her page already, but the ones that have requested, um, to join this, uh, morning, Colleen, um, the, the ones that have requested to join this, um, I will do my best to tag you all so you'll find the um, her live, um, you know, if you're not watching it live and you'll find it easy enough. Um, so that's the plan. And today, as I said, she's talking about goal setting. So we know we have to set type, sorry, my nose itchy. We know we have to set type C goals and um, our fantasy goals. So, you know, a lot of us set small, tiny little goals like me, if you're anything like me, that's what I used to do. And um, there would have been ones that I knew, knew I could achieve. And sometimes I wouldn't even tell anyone in case I didn't achieve them. Just realized I left my coffee over here. I'm gonna go and get it. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so when we set goals, yeah, we set, you know, sometimes we set small, tiny little goals to, um, just so we can, uh, achieve them. And I used to see a goal as a promise to myself and, um, it's, uh, it's not the case at all. A goal isn't, and, and this was so alien to me, a goal isn't about achieving it at all. It's about the journey there. And if you don't have an unbelievable growth and spurt and, um, quantum leap on your way to your goal then it, it's not a, a type c goal so your type c goal has to, you have to have absolutely no idea how to reach it so the difference between all the goals is type a is one you've done before so if you are your your type your your goal might be to buy a new car a specific type of car but you might have bought the same car brand new four years ago that would be type A because you've done it already. You know exactly um, how to do it. Type B is one you think you can reach. So if you um, set a goal that, okay, well, if I do this and if I ring that amount of people that day and um, call that amount of people that day and um, get paid that amount that day, you know, I, I'll reach that goal then. You know, I'd say I will. That's, um, that's a type B goal. So type C goal is 
oh absolutely no 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 that's just impossible that's mm, no way but i really really want it but no 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 no. you know your paradigm would kick in and say are you mad so that's the type of goal that you want to set when you have absolutely no idea and you don't worry about the how you don't think how am i going to do it absolutely not because when you make the decision i i said the other day it always starts with decision so when you make that decision you lock that in lock in that goal you start visualizing feeling how how um feeling the emotions as if you've achieved it and how you feel and that's when it starts to um impress into the subconscious mind and that's when ideas come so the more you um the more you say your goal in front of the mirror, the more you write it out, the more you um, visualize it, ideas will come, you know, ideas will come. So you make the decision first of what you want and then work your way back. So as if you have it already and then work your way back, you connect the dots on the way back, not you can't connect the dots from here to your goal. And if you can, then it's a type B goal. Um, so that it's mad it's absolute i never heard of it before um and it was lesson one of thinking into results lesson one is this goal setting and i thought it was absolutely crazy and of course i set a goal that was a type b goal of course i did i didn't understand and uh Sylvia was like, no, that's that's not what's going to get you up in the morning. You're not going to get excited. And she was right. It didn't drive me. It didn't. And it and you have to have that drive and that desire. Because if you don't have that desire, you will um, hit the fear bar, the terror barrier is what Bob Proctor calls it. And it's basically your fears around your goal and stepping outside your comfort zone. And as soon as you get to that point, you bounce back and back to your old life and forget about your goal and that's what i think it's 97 percent of people do they have a great goal they might listen to bob for a weekend they might um i don't know do some personal development and have their goals and then fear hits and uh, they don't recognize what it is oh no it's easier just to go back it's nicer to be back here um where where i was because i know what i'm at back here and um, back to your comfort zone and then that's where that's that's just going to be where you live out your days and it's just you're just not growing and we have an unbelievable amount of gifts and talent talents that we absolutely have no idea um what they are until we set a type c goal and then we were nearly forced to do these things and we will do them um if your desire is big enough you will do them so um it's crazy absolutely crazy i would never have dreamt it was anything like this i really didn't um to me goals were something you had to achieve they were a promise to yourself if you didn't achieve them you're a failure and uh, but that i was com i was thinking the com you know the complete opposite of what it is you only fail when you stop when you give up morning mora you only fail when you stop when you give up um and go back to your old ways and your old life and uh, but you need to keep going persistence there's actually a full chapter on persistence in the think and grow rich book full chapter so i think she's going to talk about persistence as well today so today is all persistence and goal setting tomorrow then is um self-image which is massive self-image is you as i said yesterday you cannot ever perform yourself in your your own self-image outperform sorry you can never outperform your own self-image and what that means is whatever the way you see yourself um, is the, it determines the results you're getting today and you can't do any better if because of the way you see yourself so you'll never do any better until you change your self-image it's like we're it's like our own bodies are a thermostat so when you decide to lose weight say um our minds are programmed to find whatever we lose that's the way um our minds are programmed so if you lose weight and you're doing really well say come monday yeah you're um you know no bread and no pasta you know all the carbs are gone and then tuesday wednesday thursday then you know it starts to come back again and the desire for the bread and whatever and um, you just start eating it again and that's the thermostat that's the um that's the thermostat bringing us back to the way we were the week before and if you it's same with your earnings if you earn say um, fifty thousand euros a year and then one year you might go up to 60 then you can be damn sure the following year you'll be back down to 50 again and that's just our thermostat it's like the heating in your home if it's you know um or some places where you have it set at a certain temperature 
and then if the door is open the that temperature gauge will will go up because you you know it wants it to be at that temperature and our bodies are the exact same our minds are the exact same so it's mad it's, it's mad the way it works it really really is so yeah so i i, I always found that um the the losing weight one because yeah you'd always you could be doing great for weeks and months and lose um a stone but it always comes back on well for most people not for everyone uh, but i know for me definitely always come back on i was always at the same i'm always at the same weight <laughs> i always seem to be at the same weight and unless you change your self-image change that paradigm um that thermostat inside you um, it's not going to happen. Well, for some it does. It, it happened for my sister. She she just lost it. She she um I don't know. She she it was years ago and she never put it back on. But I think that's doesn't happen everyone. Um. But anyway, um. That's Tuesday. That's your self image. And then Wednesday is um. She'll be talking about fear and faith. So um. The fears that you're going to hit when you um set your goal and when you're faced with stuff that you have to do that you wouldn't normally do when you're outside your comfort zone and faith then faith in yourself and faith in your goal and know that you can achieve it and then thursday is um decision so as i said everything starts with decision so you need to make the decision first do this and show up every single day this week um and take part ask questions and um and give us your um where you're at you know especially when the lights are on and you're watching um sylvia um you know put in your comments and um so we can help you as well and we know where you're at and you know the more you put in the more you get out of it so um so go with that as well and um and enjoy it it's loads of information write them down if you can if you can if you didn't get the worksheet um or the workbook let me know and um you can print it out i'll send it on to you you can print it out or um you can just have it um and read it from your laptop or whatever um i think it's a good idea to print it out because you can write on it then during the week um um but you can just write on you know have a notepad today because you will want to take some notes um so yeah so that's the week ahead looking forward to it. starting today at 11 o'clock let me know if you're not on her her page or in her group already let me know and i will um, pop you in there and um i can um mm, 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 tag you then when the um when the live is on and yeah, any questions at all just pop them in the the comments below and i think we will write our list now Okay, perfect. So today is uh, Monday, the 21st of September. Perfect. And today I am grateful for, so if you write that at the top. Okay, and the first one I write down is um, Bob Proctor's affirmation. Now that everything in my life is moving in harmony with God's laws. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So remember, really feel the emotions attached to each gratitude. Feel how grateful you are. And always write why you're grateful. So if you're grateful for your health, just say why. Um, I know it's kind of obvious, but that's when you, um, um, that's when kind of the emotions spark within you and that's when you attract more of that in because you want that's what you want okay so we'll start writing a few more and see how we get on and then we'll send love
how we're getting on. Any questions or anything? Just let me know. And um, we'll send write a couple more and then we'll send love. Can you complete it? Not too bad. Okay, so at the bottom, for this and for more, I am grateful. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Alrighty, if you haven't that finished, you know, write out a couple more. I always say this every morning, write out a couple more, maybe around lunchtime or in the evening time to keep you on that high vibration. Um, we're not doing too bad today if you're following um, Sylvia's launch because we um, that will keep you on the high vibration as well. Even if you just watch it at 11 and maybe even watch it back again, you know, it will keep you there and you keep you focused and and you will be thinking about what you what you want in life. Um, OK, so now we're going to um, uh, Sin Love and I have an oil here called Lime. So Lime oil would have been the first oil that I bought because um, it breaks off mucus in the chest. And Hannah had a constant cough for four months, um, three years ago when I first started using these oils. And my the lady that introduced me to the oil said, lime actually breaks up mucus. It'll get rid of that phlegm that's in her chest. And um, I tried it with the respiratory blend oil, which is called Air. Those two on her chest and 10 days later, her chest was completely clear. It's like, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. I had absolutely no idea these oils were so beneficial that way. To me, essential oils were just something that you relax with, something nice to smell, that was it. Um, I had absolutely no idea there's so many health benefits. These ones, not other ones, not ones you buy in a chemist, these ones. And um, you wouldn't get that same effect from a line that you buy in, in a chemist. Or, and and I, I don't mind saying that because it's the God's honest truth. And uh, lime is, was amazing. So I always have lime in the house and I've literally just made a smoothie um, with uh, spinach, cucumber, coconut milk, water, lime oil and ginger oil. And it was delicious absolutely gorgeous so um yeah and it's so good for your digestion and cleansing but lime is really good for um um for gratitude it's um it helps you to feel grateful grateful so i'll just see what it is um lime, the oil of it's zest for life so it imbues the soul with a zest for life when individuals have been weighed down by discouragement or grief lime elevates them above the mire so if you're feeling anyways apathetic, resigned, grieving, loss of will to live and discouraged, it'll help you feel more courageous, emotionally honest, engaged, revitalized, determined and grateful for life. So it kind of helps us to be grateful for the little things like walking and breathing, that kind of thing. Things we take for granted, um, but we call little things. They're not little things, but we do take them for granted. Um, so that's lime oil. So, mm, so gorgeous. And those the oils they come from the rind of the of the fruit, so it's not you know as acidic um, as normal fruit. It comes from the the, the skin, so um, it's it's so much more beneficial. It's it's okay to take on an empty stomach and that kind of thing. So the lemon oil would be one I drink every morning first thing, um, and then the lime then is lovely in your smoothie. Lime is lovely in a bowl of fruit as well uh, with your yogurt or whatever it is. So okay, so let's crack on here because. Um, Kids are probably getting up in a minute. I don't want to repeat of yesterday. If you were on yesterday, oh my God. My two kids had a massive fight and came down the room bawling and crying while we were doing this. I was like, oh my God, please, please don't do this to me. Um, Michael hit Hannah in the face. 
and uh, she was bawling. So um, yeah, it took a few minutes to, to get them out of the room, but they were fine. I came up here in the kitchen afterwards, they were the best friends, always the way. But uh, yeah, time and the timing wasn't great. But anyway, okay, so let's send love to people that are bothering us. Morning. Okay. Is it? She loves that. Okay, well, let's get the air. The air there. See the blue one. Can you reach? Probably not. That one. Yeah. Can you reach it? Good girl. I just mentioned air. It was the first one I started off with. So her nose is blocked. So we're going to put a little bit on her nose. Now don't touch it now. Okay, good girl. They hate when they get the oils in their hands because then they look at them in there. I feel better? Yeah. Not really. Not really. Give it a minute. It's not going to work straight away. Okay. Okay. Let's um, send love to people that are bothering us. So if you have, um, we all do. Is there somebody that has done something to you in the past? Is there somebody that has said something to you? Uh, maybe in the shop that's niggling at you or whatever it is. If you're holding any grudges or any kind of negative emotions towards somebody else, it just means you are... Um, you are kind of stuck in your own past and you need to break free. You need to let that go because they don't care. And you know, it's affecting you. It's not affecting them. So it will affect you physically and um, emotionally as well. So um, get rid of it. Stop suppressing these negative emotions. Let it out. Um, if you feel anger towards somebody at some stage, um, let it out by yourself down the room. Just let it out. Get, let it go. And once that's gone, then at least then you can just move on and you forget about it. Because if you're thinking about somebody for a long length of time, you're just suppressing those emotions. You're suppressing on top of each other all the time. And, you know, that can cause um, anxiety, which in turn can cause depression and um, it can cause any amount of physical problems to your organs as well because we hold a lot of these emotions in our in our lungs and in our liver and stuff yeah hmm? the air is working good <laughs> oh that's brilliant um okay so um so that's why we send love to people that are bothering us okay and it's all for you it's not for them it's nothing to do with them so you know they don't have to know you're doing this so how we do it is you picture them standing in front of you white light gold light whatever color light you want going from your heart to theirs and sending love you don't have to say anything now i did find this very challenging at the start when i was doing this like i don't even want to think about this person never mind send them love but you know you're going to be stuck in your own past if you um if you continue to do this and you're you know you need to break free you're like a prisoner um, in your own past and you need to move forward and if you're thinking about somebody negatively if you're angry with somebody um and your resentment towards somebody um they have some of your energy you're giving them your energy so why would you do that so by doing this you're letting go of that and you're taking it back you're taking back your energy from them so you know and you're making space for more positive energy inside of you so you'll feel better after it and this is why we're doing it nothing to do with them okay so let's close our eyes and it's just 10 seconds it doesn't take long picture them standing in front of you white light going from your heart to theirs and sending the love okay i'm doing it you're doing it as well good girl Okay, perfect. When you're ready, move on to person number two. Okay, and when you're ready, move on to yourself. So the third person we always send love to is ourselves. So picture you standing in front of you, white light, gold light, whatever you like. I like the idea of a white light. Um, going from your heart to yours and sending the love. Perfect. 
So next thing we do is ask for guidance. So we ask the universe for guidance for the day. So this same again, 10 seconds. Um, it can take longer if you want to do it. Um, if you want to practice this more, it's all about 800 hours. It's um, strengthening our intuitive muscles. So when, um, you know, when we get the answers to these questions that we ask the universe, they usually come in the form of um, like a, a flash of somebody's face in your mind, or um, you might see somebody that looks like somebody you know, and that's when you take those inspired actions and pick up the phone and call that person because you don't know how they're gonna help you or how you're gonna help them. So that's what we call inspired actions and following your intuition. Um, so don't ignore these signs. Um, so yeah, so we just ask Ask the question um, to the universe, tell the universe you're in receptive mode, you are ready to hear these answers and do it a couple of times throughout the day, practice it because it's really, really important to do this for your, for your intuition. Our intuition is one of our mental faculties. We have five mental faculties. Will is another one. Um, imagination is another one. And I can't think of the other two, but um, um, intuition is, um, is uh, an amazing faculty that we have that we don't utilize enough. We definitely don't. So, um, uh, we we utilize our other um, our senses more than our fac mental faculties, um, which is completely the the wrong way around. So we see, hear, taste, touch, and smell, and that's kind of creating our results, and that's what you know we judge things by. Whereas if we follow our intuition more, and you know, um, uh, kind of Sylvia will be talking more about this this week. But if we you know do that more and um, have a better imagination, memory is another one. None of us have a bad memory. All our memory is the same, but you can strengthen your memory. You know, it might be uh, it's it's it could be poor because you keep telling yourself you have a poor memory. But nobody has that. We're all the same. So you know, if you're someone that doesn't um, think of people's names, it's because you've convinced yourself that you do, you can't think of people's names. So just you know, this is there's ways that you can actually strengthen all these mental factors. Anyway, sorry. Um, okay, so let's um, ask for guidance. So just ask the question and allow the answers to come in. It could be later today, it could be tomorrow, it could be the day after. You know, don't be forcing these answers in, don't be waiting for them. Just ask the question and just let it go. Okay. But you really need to connect. So it's a good it's a good time to do it now after gratitude. It's a good time to do it um after um meditation when your body's relaxed. Um, but like obviously we're we're do it now and it's it's more of a practice run here because um, we don't have the time to really connect. But if you can do it again when when you're able and you have the time to connect. Perfect. So um, there we go. That's it for this morning. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I really appreciate it. You're always at the top of my gratitude list. Well, after Bob Proctor's one, you're here there. Um, and um, after this, go, make sure you go over to your mirror. Um, you can do it while you're brushing your teeth if you don't have time. Go over to your mirror and um, give yourself the compliment. So look into one eye. Um, I love you. You are perfect as you are. And look into the other eye. I love you. You are perfect as you are. And at least three more compliments into each eye afterwards. Um, we don't love ourselves enough and we, we need to do more of that. And then read your self-confidence formula. Um, this one, leave, um, I have shared this. If you haven't seen it, let me know if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's part of the Think and Grow Rich book. And you need to read that after you give yourself the compliments. And um, that is it. We'll see you at 11 o'clock on, on um, Sylvia's live or watch the replay. Let us know if you're watching the replay and make sure you comment and make sure you put up some posts on there. Tell us where you're from. Tell us what you're at and, um, and where you're stuck and we can help you um, help you get out of that. Um, so, so lovely. Thank you so much everyone this morning and we will see you later. Have a great Monday everyone. Bye.